everyone, it's Caitlin. I decided to make my video this week about flu season. It's October 1st. Flu season is most certainly upon us now. Everyone's seeing ads for Kleenex, cough drops, and flu vaccinations, so it's starting to make me think how important it is to get your flu vaccine every year. Every year the flu hits and strikes hard, especially on college campuses, and every year I've had friends get really, really sick from the flu. And somehow I've managed to escape untouched it seems and for that i'd like to thank my flu vaccine i'd like to thank my flu shot the flu shot is a vaccination against influenza virus and protects against three to four viruses that researchers predict will be the most popular that year and i just can't imagine not getting my flu shot my mom has dragged me to get my flu shot ever since i could remember and so it's almost routine for me to go around this time every single year to get it so I wanted to see why people don't get it, especially on college campuses. In fact, 46% of college students are vaccinated, so that's less than half. So luckily, I'm on a team at FNM, and I have easy access to all the masses and different personalities and different viewpoints. I decided to ask three of my friends on my team about the flu shot and if they have it and why they think it's important. And if they don't have it, why don't they think it's important and why haven't they gotten it yet? And I decided to see whether they thought a mandate on college campuses like FNM would benefit students, especially given the nature of college students and sickness. College students are more likely to get sick due to the close living quarters and the fact that they probably just don't take the best care of themselves away from home. So let's see what they said. Hey, Cor. It's all good. <laughs> I just wanted to know, do you have your flu shot? Do not. Why do you not have your flu shot? Because it makes me sick. Uh, do you think it's important? No, why should you give something that makes people sick? Okay, last question. Okay. Do you think college students should be mandated to get their flu shot before they come to school given the nature of college and sickness? I don't think so because not everyone gets a flu, so why should everyone get the flu shot? Thanks, Cor. You're welcome. Hey T. Hey. Hey, just wanted to know, do you have your flu shot? I do. When'd you get it? Um, I got it last fall, so I kind of need another one. Okay. Um, do you think getting your flu shot's important? It's so important. Why do you think it's important? Well, like obviously living on a college campus, everything spreads super quick, so you gotta like take as many preventive measures as you can. Okay, I'm almost done, I swear. Okay. Do you think colleges like FNM should mandate getting their flu getting the flu shot given the nature of colleges and sickness? Oh yeah, obviously. 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 All right, perfect. Thanks, T. Thank you. Hey Leah. Hello. All right, I have a couple questions for you. Okay. Uh, first, do you have your flu shot? No, but I'm planning on getting it like this week. Sometime. Okay. Very do you think it's important to get your flu shot? Yeah, I think it's very important. Why do you think it's important? I think it's just important to get vaccinated. I think it just helps you and it helps everyone around you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Last question. <laughs> do you think FNM should mandate all college students to get their flu shot before coming to school? Yeah, I think they should. All right. Thanks, Leah. So based on those videos, you can probably tell that a lot of college students think it's important to get your flu shot. But still, why do only 46% of students get their flu shot when 70% think it's important? We want to know what accounts for this gap. That gap can account for the amount of schoolwork students have during flu season. When you think about it, flu season usually starts around midterms of the first semester and carries on through basically the entirety of the next semester. So it's really hard to go get it when you're bombarded with work. And colleges, in colleges the first time, a lot of students, especially underclassmen, are away from home and don't have their parents to rely on to go get their flu shot. So they probably don't even know where to go and don't have enough information to go do it on their own, especially in the first couple of years of college. Basically, the combination of college students, college campuses, and the flu never makes for a good one and always presents a big issue around this time of year. As I said before, the environment of college and the close living quarters, social outings, and classrooms always make it easier for college students to transmit the virus, especially when they're not vaccinated. Also, college students miss around eight days of school and they become infected with the flu virus, which can only induce more stress because they're probably missing exams, study groups, and other homework assignments. So we can think of ways to solve this issue and kind of close the gap between the people who want to get vaccinated and the people who actually get vaccinated. And I originally thought that making a mandate and mandating that all college students get their flu vaccine before arriving on school every year might be the best 
solution, but with private universities and colleges like FNM, it would be really hard to do. So instead of mandating flu vaccines on college campuses, we can choose to incentivize them and make them more appealing and approachable for college students. We can make them free to start and then also provide some sort of financial incentive like gift certificates or free food or free drinks or just make it some sort of event so college students will be more apt to go. Also, we can put flu vaccination stations all over campuses near dining halls. We can put them near athletic training centers and near different classroom buildings just so college students can't walk around campus without not thinking about getting their flu shot or without even getting it. And on an even bigger scale, these incentivized measures can be used throughout the government, especially with uninsured patients. We can put flu vaccinations in nursing homes. You can put them in daycare centers to make them more accessible to uninsured women and children. We can put them all over the place. You can put them in supermarkets so that people can see and go get their flu shot and it's not hard for them to go get it. By using incentivized programs, we can help educate the public about the importance of the influenza vaccine and how easily transmissible the virus is. When people can understand how important something is, they're more likely to do it and go do it for their children and go do it for the other people around them. By just implementing a mandate and making someone go do it, they're not likely to understand why and be more opposed to the idea of going to do it. So. These are my ideas about the college campus flu epidemic that happens every year like clockwork. If anyone has any ideas about how they would like to solve this issue, let me know. I would love to hear them, but I'm about to go get my flu shot, so I will see everyone later.